Howdy folks. Got an unusual solution to a plumbing repair problem that I wanted to show. So this is a broken subsurface irrigation distribution uh, where that piece is broken off. Usually it goes up towards the surface. It's not in a pit like this. It's in a access hatch. You can reach in and connect a piece of uh, pipe temporarily to pull water for sprinklers. But so here's like one of the connections. Tuck that down in and connect it. But I'm supposed to remove it so that no one hits it with the tractor. Otherwise this happens. So we're gonna redesign it a little bit, but right now we're out here in the middle of the field and uh, getting these fittings apart takes heat to soften the pipe. And you can do it with a propane torch, but if you have a heat gun, it's a lot safer and more precise. And as you can see, it's a heat gun sitting down there on low setting. Make sure it's not cooking this too much while I chat. Oh, it's getting warm. Maybe move it to the other side. And with the heat gun, I need AC. Ah, whatever. I'm going to turn it off. Come back and set it up later. So I need alternating current. 115 or 120 or some such out here in the field. So how am I doing that? I'm getting it out of the lithium battery. Piece of a, it's a 48 volt piece of a Chevy Volt battery. And this is a 1980s computer server UPS uninterrupted power supply with no batteries, but I picked it because it uh, operates with 48 volt batteries. Uh, originally it had 412s in series inside it. It's got these monster transformers and makes pretty clean AC power out of DC. So it's making little sine waves. And then in the back of it here, I've got a couple things plugged in. Um, of course, you know, you're gonna carry all that battery power out to the field and make AC out of it. Might as well bring your stereo. But uh, right now I'm talking to you. So I got my stereo, got my battery, got my wibble maker, makes AC, got solvents, parts, candy, plumbing wrenches, ordinary tools, voltmeter in case anything goes wrong. And now I can sit in the bottom of my pit, turn on the tunes, heat up the pipes, knock it apart, slap it back together, and uh, it's like having an extension cord, except it's uh, just carrying it around in the cart with me. So, hope this is useful or amusing to someone. There's probably an easier way, but, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting to test this theory out.